In Austin, Texas, Freddie Steinmark is still revered. The sacrifice, his work ethic, everything that, that he, he displayed when he played here, that's the reason why we touch it, so we can play with his type of determination, with his type of sacrifice. Here at Wheat Ridge High School, the former farmer is a local legend. It's like a, a surreal superhero. It's the, it's that, that hometown kid that you're just so proud of because everything he did was right on line. Steinmark was the All-American boy. Good looks, great student, and amazing athlete. But he reached legendary status on a November night in a tie game against arch rival Lakewood. I've heard the, the run described as the run that no one could make. Our quarterback Roger Beeler went over to the sideline and asked Red what play to run. And Red said, just give the damn ball to Freddie. <laughs> and that was what happened. Steinmark took a handoff at his own 23, veered right towards the sideline, and then cut back. I think anyone who saw that run would never forget it. I know that uh, I've covered many games since and I, I remember that uh, particular place today. It changed everything for us. It, it changed the culture of Wheat Ridge. We finally beat Lakewood. Before that, we were perennial losers, annual losers, and, and all of a sudden we weren't anymore. Despite his heroics, most schools thought Steinmark was too small to play major college football. Only one university took a chance on the 160-pound safety. At Texas, Steinmark was the Longhorns' starting safety as a sophomore, and he helped lead them to a national title his junior year, despite playing with persistent pain in his leg. Six days after winning the championship, Steinmark was diagnosed with bone cancer and had to have that leg amputated. The first thing he said when he came to in the recovery room he wanted to know if there was any rule in the NCAA about one-legged kickers. The humor, courage, and resolve Steinmark displayed in the following days and weeks made him a national hero. There are two presidents that fell in love with him, Lyndon Johnson, who in the Notre Dame game I dragged through the locker room to meet Freddie. Nixon met him in the game of the century down at the Arkansas game and then called Freddie in the hospital, invited him to the, to the White House. Steinmark's plight inspired President Nixon to wage our country's war on cancer but it didn't save Freddie's life. He passed on June 6, 1971. Now, 44 years later, Freddie's legacy is still alive and well. The biography Faith, Family, and Football has been published, and the movie My All-American, due to be released this November, was produced by the same man who did Hoosiers and Rudy. The first thing I thought is it's about time, because I think it's one of the great stories of all time. So I was so excited because it's a story that needs to be told. Those of us here, Freddie's always here. I mean, it's, it's more like our chance to share him. And now the nation gets to know what the people in Austin and Wheat Ridge have never forgotten. There's lots of guys that have a great run, have a great game, but true greatness is being the total package. And Freddie achieved that every day of his life. Eric Christensen, CBS4 Sports.